Today, we've got a new printer. We've got the Frozen Mega 8KS to open. See you guys inside. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. As I said in the intro, we have the Frozen Mega 8KS to open up today. We're gonna get out of the box, we're gonna take a look at the features and kind of see how this stacks up to its older brother, the Mega 8K. Now, there is a significant price difference between these two and also shipping, as now Frozen has broken up their websites to European and US websites. This printer is pretty much mostly just offered for the US, only this one is offered in the US site. I didn't see the other Mega 8Ks, so I'm wondering, are we phasing those older ones out? I kind of hope not. I like the older ones. I like the casing and stuff, but this new one's got big shoes to fill in my opinion because the Mega 8K, while it was expensive, right around $2,800 when you got through with everything, this guy comes in a lot lower, but still is a pretty hefty, hefty price tag compared to other 13-inch printers in its field. So we're going to take this out of the box, we're going to look at the components, and we're kind of just going to get a feel for it in this video. So this is an unboxing. We're probably not going to get any printer printing in this video. Guess what? I'll have to do a recap. But hey, that's a lot of fun because then I can tweak the machine, get some settings, and hopefully help you guys out along your journey because that's the whole plan of this channel is helping you along with your 3D printing journey. With that said, if you're new here, make sure you hit that sub button. If you have a question or anything like that, make sure to hit them down in the comments down below or over on the community page is my email address. Feel free to email me any questions. Also, if you can help us out and you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button for us as that helps the channel and everything grow and is a really great thing. So guys, let's uh, get my chair out of the way and let's get this out of the box. All right guys, so as you can kind of see, the box is in pretty good shape. There are a few places I was a little concerned about, so hopefully we have no problem getting this out of the box. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this very heavy 60 pound box and put it down here on the floor. We're going to pull everything out onto this table. So I did cut the box open, just kind of looking to see if there was any internal damage. I didn't see anything. So let's get this big thing, this big heavy thing out of the box. <laughs> All right. Up and out of the box. Step on. <laughs> I'm just getting old. That's all. And as usual, box out of the way. We're going to need a handy knife to cut through some of this tape. So let's start cutting through the tape. All right. As one thing I do like is Frozen always puts their stuff in bags. These are being shipped internationally. And they always take care to make sure their equipment doesn't get wet in transit. I always like that. All right. And I will say, weight-wise, I didn't feel a whole lot of difference. You guys can see the machine looks very different compared to the other style Mega 8Ks that we were used to. Come on, off we go, there we go. Come on, hey, there we go. The casing is completely different. So instead of heavy duty plastic doors, or metal with plastic inch doors, we now have a full plastic front. Get the saran wrap off here. And it's in their current color of iconic yellow, yellowish green, uh, which we started seeing with the mini DKS. Uh, now we can already see kind of a difference here. And that is the lid being hinged, opening up to the back, opening up like that. That's a very big change as the other doors opened up wide. 
Uh, so what this tells me is when I put this up in the print shop, I have to leave a lot of room behind it to be able to open this up properly. That may be a problem up there, I don't know, um, but we will find out. So, start getting in the foam. We've got the goodie box. And right there, I can see our vat and our build plate. I'm going to pull the vat first. It's very similar to the standard 8K vat. Nice 13 inch. Yay! Big print. Then we're going to get the build plate out here. Frozen's build plate. I usually have never had a problem with these. They usually work really, really well. And the nice thing about the Frozen printer is usually they're pre-calibrated, so we shouldn't have to do a leveling process. Although, sometimes it's always worth double checking. Especially if you try it and your first couple prints don't go out well. It could be this machine took a hard hit in transit and just got knocked out of line. All right. Come on. Come on, Lid. Woohoo! Away goes the phone. All right. Now, what I would need to do here is, well, there is a screen thing on there right now, so I'm not too worried about that. Touchscreen LCD, USB 3.0 ports. Very nice looking resolution. Very nice, clean looking machine. Now, I gotta get up here, get these pieces, and we've almost got it out of the box. We can start assembly. Which honestly, with this machine, there's not a lot of assembly. So, all right. Now that we got that, uh, that piece may just live there. Come on. There we go. Get all the plastic out of there and the pile of mess. So, you see, probably Luna sneaking into the edge there. Something new, something to smell. All right, so, bill plate. In position. I'm trying to decide if this feels shorter, but we'll come to that in time. Now right now, I'm not gonna remove, actually there's no protective film on here. And one thing you'll notice that's different is it's a clouded material now. It's not the clear old style FEP. So I need to check and see if this is a, um, it's a newer, faster releasing material. So I'm going to slide that into position. Just like that. Now it's time to open the goodie box. All right. We've got a nice, thank you for your order envelope stuff. Allen wrenches, always handy to have, always appreciate them. And these guys always buy the good ones because they've got the rounded heads there. That comes in really handy when trying to work on your printer. Filter, because these now have built-in filtration system. Funnels, nitrate gloves, plastic putty knife for cleaning your FET bay, US power cord, I believe European power cord, which I don't need, I really do like that Frozen spends the money on this and buys really nice putty knives. These are fantastic. They work really well. And I love the nice sharp bevel edge you get on there. It makes it real easy for taking stuff off the build plate. So printers that send me just this, you make me want to cry. So, and then we've got the USB materials. So then the last two pieces we need to assemble this machine are the bat base screws. And it's kind of looking at this machine compared to my Mega 8K. I feel like there is a height difference. I don't feel like this one, I'm gonna have to recheck that. I feel like the Mega 8K prints higher, but it's also not all the way up right now, so. It could be that. And one of the first things I usually do is I go look and see if there's any firmware available. And if you're curious about flashing firmware on the printers and you guys want to see something like that, let me know down in the comments down below. Everybody, every manufacturer is a little different, so, but we'll 
tighten those in place. Well, maybe if I go the right way. Righty tighty, not lefty loosey. All right, so that's now secured. Let's uh, let's fire this guy on. And take a look at her. Let's see how loud you are, my dear. Ugh. Power port is conveniently right here. Power on. I'm going to go ahead and close the lid. The iconic Frozen LCD. Don't worry guys, towards the end of the video there's going to be some better close-ups. So, Is this thing even on? I don't really hear anything. Now, I did notice there is a serial port and a USB-A port back here. That's new, that's different. I missed a piece of plastic. I'm noticing lots of nice access ports for upgrades. Um, now, when I placed my order, I did order the uh, resin fill system, and that has not arrived yet. So, we're still waiting on that component to add to the machine. So that will probably be a later video down the line. Um, but I'm assuming that's what this port and that other components are for so I can plug that system in. First impressions, very different than the Mega 8K. I don't know how well this will work in my print shop. I, I like it though. I like that I can just lift up. I will probably put something here so that if I have resin on my hands or something I don't muck up the front of my display. Um, I probably will put a protector inside for splash up. Splash up's not really a huge issue with the frozen machines because they use the hold build plate. The air comes out through there, doesn't splatter all over the place like the Anycubic M5S. All in all, she's a nice looking little machine. Everything looks really kind of nice. We've got a really nice clean. I'm going to do an LCD test. She's running great. There's the fans. There's the sound I was looking for. LCD looks like it's functioning completely properly in there. That makes my day. I don't have to deal with that. Um, I will be hopefully adding the resin fill, fill auto fill pump, uh, vat clean, Z calibration. I shouldn't need to do any of that right now. Looking at the info, nothing I need to know there. No onboard Wi-Fi. That's a little disappointing because uh, the Mighties and that have that, but the Mega AK never has. So, all right, guys. Well, that is the unboxing of the Mega AKS. Nice little machine, clean, simple, pull out of the box, put it together. And now I'm going to go look at my Shintu box profile, see if there's anything more I need to do. Check out what's in my handy dandy uh, thing here. Ooh, Shintu box. Another 12 months of Shintu box pro. So I'm good for two years now on mine. That is awesome. So that is a big include. For the price that you pay that printer, that license usually costs about $170 a year. So that's really cool. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. So, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you know when I do the second part of this printer. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Hit that thumbs up for me. And, again, questions in the comments. We will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, as I promised, here's kind of a more quick, nice video closer ups looking at the machine that beautiful build plate the DeLorean style let's open up the build system and get in there and take a look now the pump and fill station I checked my order I am supposed to get it uh, but for some reason I got TR300 resin instead so that add-on will actually go in here and make the machine even better but we've got lots of cool add-ons and all that fun stuff Thank you guys. Catch you in the next video.